I'm here with uh, Michael from uh, Beer Baseball Blog right here. Let me show him real quick. Where is he? There he is. Let me show myself. There I am. And we're here at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, and it's 4th of July. And we're celebrating our independence by opening up uh, some baseball cards. Uh, let me switch it back to you, Mike. There it is. We're going to do some Panini Stars and Stripes, four autographs or memorabilia cards per box, chances to find autographs from the hottest prospects like Hunter Green to Jaron Kendall. Um, we're going to do two boxes of that. Mike's going to do two boxes of that. He's also going to do a box of the brand new Spanking Hot Tops Tier 1. And then me, for fun, I'm going to do a nice red, white, and blue box of Upper Deck from 1989. This is Upper Deck's inaugural year. Chances to find Ken Griffey Jr. rookies. And I'm going to be looking for Ricky Henderson card for my PC, which I do not have. I do not have his 89 upper deck yet. So I'm putting my, my cell phone in the clip here. And let's get into it. Mike, you want to do the honors? Let's do uh, Stars and Stripes first. Yeah, I can actually watch you do it. All right. Since I'm not doing a break myself, I'll film you. Turn your phones sideways to watch these videos, folks. We're going to go sideways on this. So, five packs. Nice. Silver packs with a little red, white, and blue logo. This is so appropriate for today. I love it. Teeth. I love using the teeth. <laughs> Sometimes you got to use your teeth. Let's see what these cards look like. Ooh, beautiful. Panini, Stars and Stripes. Now, we're probably not going to know a lot of these names in here yet. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that's look awesome. Look at that. That's like a four-break patch right there. Signed card from Carter Young. What a beauty. Panini. Solid. Numbered 25 of 25. That's radical. So I don't want to get in the way of your camera either. Yeah. Good stuff. So Mike's got a camera over there that he's filming with. Mike's got a camera up here to get some overhead shots with. And then uh, I'm also doing some filming and dropping. Yes. <laughs> but that, those are beautiful cards. Yeah, those are really nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Card Crazy says, Michael, can we make a deal on any athletics cards you pull in Tier 1? Oh, potentially, yes. There you go. Potentially. You can... Speaking of uh, athletics. There we go. Look at that. A Mark McGuire USA card. Boom. Nice. Beautiful product. This is Panini, Stars and Stripes. It just came out this week. Yeah. Ethan Long. Joe Naranjo. Naranjo. Yeah. Yeah. Numbered at 249. Yeah. And then a Jeremiah Jackson. Nice. Auto. Out of 499. Cool. What's up? It's Jay from Hawaii, man. Mukalakahiki. Aloha, my friend. James Trading Cards lives in Pasadena. Stop by any time, my friend. Yes, yes, sir. Ooh, look at that. These cards are great, man. What a great idea to open these boxes on 4th of July. Panini, Stars and Stripes. Chris Oakey. And then a... Quad Relic. Quad Relic. Jaron Kendall, Hunter Green. Ooh. Brendan McKay. What? Quentin Holmes. What? The, the two names that I mentioned at the start of this video, their jersey swatches are right there. And Jaron Kendall, Hunter Green, Brendan McKay also, and Quentin Holmes. That's a rad little quad swatch card. This is Panini. We're opening up two boxes of this right now, by the way. This is Panini Stars and Stripes, which just came out this week. Here's my card so far, out of everything, <laughs> Seth Beer. Seth Beer. 
Now, many of you guys are may maybe too young, but Michael here runs a blog where he talks about the art of craft beer and baseball, and he's a big beer fan, and so no wonder he's a fan of Seth beer. That's right. <laughs> Quickly shot up to one of my favorite players already. That's right. You have to follow Seth Beer. You can check out Michael's uh, Instagram page at Beer Baseball. Yes. That's what it is. Zach Birdie. Braxton Garrett. Cool. I really like these cards. Blake Rutherford. Rutherford. It's red. Does that mean anything? Because it's red, is it numbered or anything? It is. Out of 249. Out of 249. Cool. And then, oh, this is nice. Autograph from Kendall Diggs. Nice, interesting, yeah. uh, kind of squiggly of signature. Let me see that signature again. Very squiggly, but it's cool. I like that. Nice card. And who knows, some of these guys uh, could turn out to be some of the next huge players in the MLB. That's why products like this is kind of fun to collect. Ricky Tyler Thomas, which nice. um, he what was that? Was he on? What was that show at Tool Time? Is he, is he, <laughs> oh, so he's not part of the Breakfast Club? Uh, I don't, no, <laughs> part of the Brad Pack. Yeah, Justin Taylor Thomas, there or what's go. his name? Is yeah, that, is that his name? From Tool the, Time. Yeah, Tim yeah. Allen. Right, right, Tim Allen. What's up, uh, Beast? Beast is back. The beast is back and you're gonna be in trouble. Hey now, hey now, the beast is back. <laughs> Dalton Jeffries, longevity. Nice, that looks like a little bit of a refractor, yeah, numbered out of 49. 49. This is a great product, folks. These this, these boxes are currently only $49.99 a box, currently. And you get four hits and all these great looking cards and all these great prospects uh, in their USA uniforms. This is perfect for fourth of july yes james we are going to break that box of tier one yes we are going to break a second box of stars and stripes yes we are going to break a box of 89 upper deck have patience we will get there soon and that was the last pack from the first box yeah. pretty much oh there's a hunter green uh, base card right there rock that back and forth a little bit if you don't mind in the light Oh yeah, nice. Hunter Green is uh, he was predict he was predicted to go first round uh, pick, first pick in the draft, but he went second. Um, but there's also a uh, Jaron Kendall and Hunter Green part of that quad patch card that's pretty nice. And then there was this sick little four break autographed patch card right there from Carter Young. So that's box one of two. Let's go for number two. Box two it is. Two of two. Twenty four seven sports cards. Just because you live in Canada doesn't mean you can't buy boxes of cards from us. Uh, feel free to shoot us an email or a message. And uh, as long as you're willing to pay for the international shipping, we have no problem shipping you cards. We... Uh, Want to introduce collecting to as many people as we can. Yeah, I got back into collecting uh, two years ago, and I'm really super happy I did. I, I neglected it for a long time, but, but stuff like this is super cool. I'm, like, really always excited about it. There you go. It's definitely got me back into it. Hey, I wouldn't not about Seth Beer had it not been for this product. <laughs> now, I already know this about you, Mike, but uh, who's your favorite team to collect? My, uh, I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan. I hope that doesn't uh, d d membership doesn't drop off there with people watching. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm a, I've been a Cardinal fan since I was 10 years old. You so, have a yeah. favorite Cardinal of all time? Uh, I would have to say Ozzy Smith. Uh, actually, I probably at first grew up a Kurt Keith Hernandez fan, and I was heartbroken when he was uh, traded to the <laughs> Mets. But I, there was a good reason why he was traded to the Mets. He <laughs> had a little bit of a problem. Uh, that that right. a lot of people had during the 80s. Right. <laughs> <laughs> here, let's go back to your cards here. You got, uh, who is that? Bryson Brigman. Cool. MJ, MJ Melendez. Cool. And a yeah, Zach and Martinez. Zach Martinez autographed Jumbo Relic. Man, that's an awful signature. Yeah. 
It looks like I did that with my left foot. <laughs> it looks like he signed his first name, left the room, and then came back and signed his last name. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tyler Johnson. Nice. And you may know this guy, Dansby Swanson. Dansby, look at that. That's a nice card. Beautiful. I love the gold. I love the reflection, the chrome, uh, the red, white, and blue. This is just a wonderfully designed card. Panini does some 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 great stuff with cards. They really do. I I enjoy what they do. PJ831 asks, I'll let you answer this, Mike. Sure. What would you do if Clayton Kershaw came into the shop right now to buy a pack of cards? Uh I would probably say, why are you here? The Dodgers <laughs> play today. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not pitching today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he might be, too. I don't know who's pitching. I don't even remember yeah. who's pitching right now. <laughs> Anybody on Instagram know who's pitching for the Dodgers today? I, I don't remember. I did not look to see. Yeah, that'd be pretty incredible, though. And I know that he he showed up somewhere recently, and it was kind of unexpected. So, huh. uh, yeah, that would be... Hey, come on. I mean, like, that would... <laughs> people would may, like... Look. Pile that here, would like, be awesome. That yeah, would be that would amazing. be awesome. That's for sure. Dalton Guthrie. Okay. No, any, I, I mean. Any uh, relation to Woody or Arlo? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody will even know who that is on here. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is interesting. Easy one, two, three says it is Kershaw starting today, and this is Barry Larkin. What a beautiful red, white, and blue card yeah, that is. I wasn't even aware he was on the, the team. That's awesome. Oh, another one. Roger Clemens. Clemens. Longevity. Boom. Out of 49. Out of 49. And uh, number 100. Remember when that used to be a thing? That when they, uh, the cards actually, like for instance, like Pete Rose would be 100. Johnny Bench would be 200. That huh. was like a big deal to be like 100 in, in these. I things. don't remember that. Yeah, you should look on the cards. You, you would actually see that. I'm sure Ricky Henderson is a 100 card. He's Justin different. Willis. What you talking about, Willis? Right. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Cool. It's a nice signature for Justin Willis. And last but not least, Alex Artie Lang. Are you from uh, Artie Lang? Artie Lang, of course. Man. <laughs> uh, dirty work. Dirty work. That's one of my favorite yeah. movies. I'm a big Norm Macdonald uh, fan. Well. Benito Pepito asks, "How much are these boxes? These boxes? Do you have the box left right it's there? A, it's a forty nine. Show me that box real quick." This is a uh, Panini Stars and Stripes, and these are uh, yes, currently forty nine ninety nine per box. Prices uh, always fluctuate. Uh, another question from S D T T M Collector: Favorite Padre? Oh, awesome question! <laughs> awesome question. And I I could go with Eric's favorite player, Ricky Henderson. Hmm. Um, but uh, and, or I could go with my favorite player that I just said before, Ozzy Smith. Ah. Um, but I will say, kind of a no-brainer, Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn's kind of a no-brainer. Like he he's awesome. Dave Winfield was an awesome player. There's Randy. another Dodger veteran that was a Padre for a while. In do you know who I'm talking about? Who am I thinking of? Uh, Piazza. Uh, he was, actually, was he? Yes. Yeah, I did not know that. I'm, I'm talking career. about an 80s veteran. 80s veteran. Oh, Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey. There we go. Um, yeah. So yeah. They're, they're, they're actually, the Padres, a lot of people went to the Padres. Uh, it's too bad because I remember uh, Rizzo could have, if I'm not mistaken, he was supposed to be a Padre. There's so many, like, should have been Padres. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, I love, I actually, the one thing I like about the Padres is Petco Park one of my favorite parks to go to and as a craft beer drinker it's heaven it's a really an amazing yep. place i went there for the world baseball classic earlier this year san diego's Tremendous. a good place for beer that's for sure yep david peterson keston hiura i think that's the way you say that hiura <laughs> nice cards yeah tools of the trade look Ooh, at that there we go look at that little quad Two bats and two relics, one dark blue, one white. Is that numbered at all? That's a nice card. I love the bat cards. Yeah. Out of 199. 13 of 199. Nice. I love the, the cards that have pieces of the player's baseball bat on it like that. Nick Prado and Evan White. Nice. 
two packs left from this box. Two pack warning. And then we're going to get into maybe some tier one. Teeth. Jared Jones. Okay. Hans Kraus. Hans. <laughs> That's, is, it, is this like in uh, Young Frankenstein when the horse whinnies after you say Hans Kraus? <laughs> Verbluchen. Yeah, that's right. Verbluchen. Ethan Long. There we go. And a Nelson, Nelson Berkwich. Nelson Berkwich autograph. Haven't heard of him yet, yeah. but who knows? Yeah, you never know. Maybe he'll have a breakout season in the next year or two, and he'll be right up there. CJ Van Eyck. Eyck. All right. So last... Last Stars and Stripes Panini. Another Joe Naranjo. Another Ricky Tyler Thomas. By the way, we are currently opening uh, 2017 Panini Stars and Stripes. Ethan Long autograph. Four hits per box. At a 199. KJ Harrison. Nice. And last is Darren McDougan. McCaw. McCon? McCon, I guess. McCoggan. McCoggan. It's very Irish. Yeah. So or that's Scottish pretty, or something. That's pretty awesome. That's Panini Stars and Stripes. Look at some of these some of these hits right here. We got a nice McGuire. Dansby Swanson. We got some nice autographs from some prospects. Kendall Diggs. We got a nice uh, quad relic with two baseball bats on there. We got a nice jumbo patch auto. We got another nice, like a four break patch auto. We got this four, this quad jersey featuring Hunter Green and Jaron Kendall top picks in the MLB draft for this year. Some nice autos. That's beautiful stuff. What are we going to get into next, Mike? Right. So, 2017 Tops Tier 1. Tier I've had a lot of luck with uh, Cardinals in this one, actually. Okay, let's see. And uh, So, let's see if we can go. I'm so, I think someone out there wants some uh, 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 athletics. Some A's, yes. Possible trade for the A's in here. Let's see. Right. Tier one, this is a brand new product from Tops. Came out this week. High end. These are currently about 120 a box for one pack. So right See off the bat. Three cards, all hits. Daniel Murphy out of 331. Beautiful. Let me just get the angle on that. Look at that gloss. I like the color. Huh. Nice. So let's see. That's a thick card. Seems overly thick for that little swatch in there. But let's see who else he might get. Oh, that's funny. Athletics. <laughs> Mark Mulder autograph, numbered 99 of 300. Uh, wow, that's random. How's There's that? your athletics. Right, yeah, you want to make a good trade for that probably. And so there's another autograph in this one. The last hit. I'm going to get in the all second close. Second baseman. Who plays second base that you'd want? I don't know. Ooh. It's oh, it looks like Cubs. Javier Baez. Nice. Numbered out of 65. 21 of 65. Autographed Javi Baez. World champion. These are some high quality, high glass cards, right? The high gloss cards from Tops. Yeah, put those all down there. Boom, that's Tops Tier 1. You can get some sick stuff. This product has some hard to find, but possible to find bat knob autographed relics where there's actually a bat knob on the card, bat barrel autographed relics where there's actually like a, 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 bat, a piece of the bat barrel on the card. This product is really cool. 
Super nice. Two on-card autographs there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool. People are saying to hi, hi to somebody named Bobby. Bobby who? Bobby. Oh, maybe Bobby Crosby. Is Bobby Crosby in the house right now? If he is, what's up, brother? Hope you're having a fun 4th of July. Hall of Fame is open till 4 p.m. And then who knows what else? Right, Mike? Who knows? Uh, so we just opened two boxes of Panini Stars and Stripes. We opened a box of Tops Tier 1. And now uh, we're going to open a box of 1989 Upper Deck. We're going to go old school. So I wanted to do this box for a couple of reasons. One, because uh, I liked the red, white, and blue color on it. Two, because you can find Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards in here. Three, because you can find Ricky Henderson cards in here, and I do not have the 89 Ooh. Upper Deck Ricky Henderson for my personal collection, so that'd be a huge find for me. Hold on. Yeah, that's me. What's up? Here, hold on. Getting ready to do 89 Upper Deck. Red, white, and blue. This is the first year of Upper Deck, folks. The first year Upper Deck made cards. They made this product right here in 1989. The first card they ever printed. Card number one, Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie card. So wish us luck. Maybe we'll find a Griffey. Maybe we'll find a Ricky Henderson. Me and Mike are going to get into this box right now. All right. Here we go. Crack it open, Mike. Come on, Ricky. Be my guest. Be my guest. Put your fingernails to the test. <laughs> All right. There oh, they are. Wow. Look, look at these silver packs. I'm going to take this one off the top Very left similar. there. Similar. Yeah, similar. A little weather, but... Look at these silver... It's, it's not really like a foil because it's kind of like... It's a paper. Yeah, paper. It's like a paper with a foil wrapping. Because look, you can, you can tell it's made of foil because it crumples right up and stays where it is. This is 89. Just have at it. Any good mustaches, obviously. Uh, we can do best mustache, maybe. I don't know if the mustache was being rocked in 1989. Yeah, probably, no, not, not really. Probably not too prominently. People are pretty... Oh, we got some of these. But the, Yes, and then there's the... Uh, oh, yeah, these are great. The hologram stickers. Look at these. These are great. Baltimore Orioles, Astros. All, the Orioles one is super clean. Yeah. That's nice. This one's a little foggy. There's someone you might... Bo Jackson. This is 89 Upper Deck. Just a clean card design. And what else was unique about Upper Deck for this year? They were the first company to do this hologram security protection technology. So if you look closely... You can see, yeah, there you, there you see. It says upper deck in the hologram. Now, this was designed in order to prevent counterfeiting. People uh, were not able to counterfeit these cards because they had these unique hologram designs on them. And this was uh, ingenious. Yeah, it was pretty advanced at the time. Yeah, for sure. advanced, groundbreaking, all that. Um. Oh, there's the goose. Okay, best mustache is definitely officially. <laughs> and and wearing a batting helmet, well, you know, there's so many times when he came up to the plate. Oh, man. But then he probably did, actually, because he pitched like three innings. Right, for sure. Three to four innings. And that's going to be huge. The red, white, and blue with the mustache. This <laughs> could be the winner for best yeah, mustache. that's an early yeah, contender. Put him right there. Eric Shaw. What, what, um... What did he do that, that made him... I do not know, besides grow that long hair and mustache? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He gave up Pete Rose his uh, when he passed Ty Cobb. Oh, really? Yeah, he gave ah. up the hit. Look at this. This one's for you, Mike. Cardinals. Nice. Hologram. Yep, there you go, that's buddy. that old logo. Classic. Danny Tartable. Remember how I talked about he was for a while? Yeah. I, I actually have his cracked bat from when I was a bat boy. Nice. I had that at home. So is Lance Blankenship. Here's Blankenship's rookie. (laughs) 
looking for, of course, card number one, which is Ken Griffey Jr. We're looking for uh, the Ricky Henderson card in here because I do not have the 89 upper deck for my PC. We're looking for best mustache. It's going to be hard to top Goose Gossage right here, though. Montreal Expo. Expo. Anything Expos, too. They're yes. Awesome. And talking about base dealers, Vince Coleman. Vince Coleman, Cardinals. Bruce Souter with a large beard right there. That yeah. thing is scruffy. <laughs> Rance Mullinix. Mullinix. What a name. Where is yeah. he from? Where do you think he's from? Uh, I'll say see. Pennsylvania. Let's see. It says, oh, wow, Tulare. Tulare, California. Oh, there you go. Who huh. would have, I would have not guessed. Right up the uh, highway, right up the Bakersfield Highway there. Brett Butler, yes. Played for the Dodgers for a time as well as the Giants. Ron Oyster. Jimmy Jones, Robin Yount, Hall of Famer, Tartable, Hubbard, Bo Diaz. Yes. Probably don't recognize him, but that used to be the Texas Rangers manager, and now he's the uh, third base <laughs> coach for, uh, oh gosh. For who? Uh, I want to say... For uh, somebody. The Braves, Braves. For the Braves. Uh, MJ Cards asks, are you looking for a Griffey rookie? MJ Cards, yes, absolutely. Always. Always <laughs> looking for a Griffey rookie. This this is, by the way, this is uh, the high number series of Upper Deck. So this is like Upper Deck's Series 2. And this is where you can find Griffey rookies. Be careful if you're going to buy boxes of 89 Upper Deck because back then they did not come factory sealed. So I would not recommend buying these online at all. Only get these uh, from a person that you absolutely trust, who you know that they haven't been rifled through, that maybe the Griffies haven't been found and taken out already. Only get these boxes from someone you trust, like us. We do have some uh, fresh 1989 upper deck boxes that are fresh from the case. And you, too, can buy a box and try to find Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie. Hopefully we find one right now. Ken Griffey Jr. and Ricky Henderson. Remember Corey Snyder? Of course. He was a hot prospect who quickly dropped off the radar. Yeah. Look at that. Jose Canseco. It's a nice... Oh, it's a little beat up, isn't it? Is it? It's got, like, kind of a thing on it. Oh, Is it just me? Oh, it's, yeah, from the Maybe. sticker. Sticker left a little mark on it. Jose Canseco right there. This is back in the day when photography wasn't all high definition, too, so there's a lot of weird shadows on some of these cards. And Amazon, you can trust, says Matt Barn. Matt Barn, you are incorrect. <laughs> I would not trust buying these boxes off of Amazon. Uh, always try to get products in person, whether it's baseball cards or whatever. A pair of jeans. If you can buy it in person, get it in person. It's a nice card of Mike Schmidt, though. Oh, wow. Mike on the mic. Look at this, Mike Schmidt. Pretty good. Batted uh, 293 and 87. Mm, not bad. Not bad at all. Who's going to find the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie? Will either of us find it? Will either of us find a Ricky Henderson? Will either of us find a better mustache than what Goose Gossage has yeah. right here in this photo? I have seen it. I think 80, I 80, 89 is when people started being clean shaven, but I know. we're hoping someone could break the trend. Rafael Palmero. 
Let's see. Someone says, oh, Quijibo. Hey, that's Mike Stiles who was just in here. He says, Mike, the Cardinal Collector, interested in a 1992 Upper Deck Heroes of Baseball Lou Brock signature? Ooh. Numbered out of 3,000? Potentially. For the for the Mulder, they're saying? Or? Uh, no, that was that was one of the oh, mics that was in here earlier. Oh, oh, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I, I, potentially, uh, yeah, of course, that, yeah. Always, always interested in Lou Brock. Check out this great Nolan Ryan. Wow. Triple exposure. Yeah, triple exposure. That was kind of some high. They weren't doing stuff back then until Upper Deck came onto the game. I like that card. I'm going to keep that card to side. I'd appreciate uh, no advertising of your own <laughs> stuff on our on our broadcast. That would be very very kind if you could respect our own space here. Thank you, folks. That person has just been blocked. <laughs> well. Oh, but he found the Ricky Henderson, but the sticker. You see that? Oh, you it Left sure an indentation is. on it. Oh. These, these, these dumb little stickers, which I was never a big fan of, because they're just small and round, and you couldn't ever put them anywhere cool. Uh, let me stick them all over your notebook, I guess. But the sticker was right here for the last, however, 25 years. And it left a little indentation right under Ricky's chin there and his jawbone. But there's one. Hopefully, I can put this in my PC and hopefully maybe find one in better condition yeah. at some point down the line. But cool. There's a Ricky. So it does exist. Alex, if you want some of these stickers, man, come on down. I'll save some for you. Come on down. Pick them out. Ooh, here's another good mustache from Tom Brookins. Nice. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, dueling <laughs> stashes of the same player. Here's the rookie checklist. Remember these? Oh, oh yeah. I, I just saw that. Ken Griffey Jr., number one on the rookie checklist. Maybe we should keep this to the side just in case we need to. Yeah, uh, for sure. Eric Davis. Nice. My, what Actually, do you think he's got in his chew, in his in his mouth? Chew or bubble gum? Uh, I would say back then, chew for sure. Chew. He actually was a cardinal at the very end of his career. Interesting. He actually had cancer and came back from that. He's I don't quite, remember quite that. Quite an inspiration, yeah. John Cruck, another man that was known to chew on some chew. Another person who had really? cancer as well. Yeah. No kidding. Yep. Benito Santiago. And that, that's an awesome. Uh, Padre player. Speaking of Padre. Wrong Henderson, but still a good player. Dave Henderson. That's right. Hit a big home run in 86 against the Angels for the Red Sox. Put them into uh, the World Series. Justin's asking me, how much is the 89 tops traded Griffey worth? Uh, not in, That's not an incredibly valuable card, I would say. Uh... Ten to twenty dollars, probably. Yeah, I don't even know how to. Give or take a little on each side. I don't even know how to price stuff nowadays. We do that price thing. As yeah, a, price challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ken Griffey Jr. Hmm. Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card coming up here. You see, this is how these stickers they stick to the card. And they leave like little indentations on the card. It's too bad. Obviously, back in 89, it wasn't doing that because they were freshly packaged. But these boxes have been sitting in storage for some time now. And it would be a bummer if we actually did find a, a Griffey and it was ah. had a sticker mark on it. Here's another Tom Brookins yeah, mustache. Cecil Fielder. Wow. Father of who? Not not the uh, prince, not, 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 not the singer prince. No, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> father of the prince fielder though. Right. Whom we all know and love. And his career was cut short. Brady 2.2 got that one correct real fast. Nice job, Brady. Thank you, Jonah Davis. He says I think your shop is fantastic. 
because it gets the kids into cards. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. I appreciate the encouragement. We appreciate the encouragement. Uh, Stuart, uh, if you want to see value on cards, it's probably best to uh, check eBay sold listings or uh, check out a Beckett price guide. You can also go to Beckett.com. I do not know prices of cards off the top of my head, not for most stuff, um, and especially when it's a, a such a broad question as somebody that says, you know, what are the variation cards worth in Top Series 2? I don't know the value of all variation cards. Um, I don't know the value of any variation cards to off, off the top of my head. I'd have to look it up myself, and you could just as easily do the same. Here's Will Clark, uh, my best friend growing up. This was his favorite player. He liked Will Clark and Frank Thomas. Yeah, Will the Thrill and the Big Hurt. Yep. Mike Angel, Sosha. Angel there. or Dodger? What, do you like him better as an Angel or Dodger? Is that the question? Well, I'm the same. Which is he more associated with? Oh, he's a Dodger. He's a Dodger, right? I don't know. Uh, Who knows? When he goes into the Hall of Fame, what will he go in as? That's a question right there. That is definitely a question. Bobby Bonilla. Backed by Tom Prince. Jack Clark, no yeah, relation. Yeah, wasn't even aware he was a no relation. Padre. Who do you know him as? Well, a, a Giant or a Cardinal. Hmm. He had a big home run against the Dodgers in '85. Huh. First base open, what sort of pitches to him? Ooh, not the right rookie I wanted, but hey, Ramon Martinez rookie for the uh, Dodgers. Cool. I love these upper deck rookie logos from this year. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Star with a little banner. Good stuff. This is an interesting card here. This is a uh, Nolan Ryan, famous pitcher, Hall of Famer, throwing a football. <laughs> throwing a football. This was a fun chase card back in the day because we were we had never seen anything like it up until now. Yeah. Upper deck was. To my recollection, the first company to kind of start integrating sports yep. and uh, like like putting, you know, showing a guy throwing a football on a baseball card. So I'm going to put that to the side next to this other Nolan Ryan card. The last time I was at Bush Stadium was uh, 2009, I believe. I'm sorry, 2009. I, I actually went a couple years ago, but uh, before that, I went in 2009 and we were doing the stadium tour of Bush Stadium. And uh, uh, Matt Holliday and John Smoltz were playing catch with a football. Wow! In the outfield. It's just the same as warming up with a baseball. Yeah. Whatever way you want to warm up your arm, I guess you know it doesn't matter. Yep. Easy one two three suspects that uh, Sosha will probably go in as an angel, because he was managing when they won their only World Series win. That'd be my guess. However, how many World Series titles did he win with the Dodgers? I believe only one. Only one? Yeah. In '88. Yeah, because he wasn't on the '81 or the '81 team. Yeah, maybe you're right. So that's going to be an interesting call. It will be an interesting call. It's, it might come down to which team he played the longest with. Potentially, yeah. I mean, he's probably been with the Angels longer by now. Yeah. This is kind of a cool picture for some reason. I just like the contrast wow. of the photography. Marvell Wynn, Padre. Like a studio portrait. Yeah. Wade Boggs. Nice mustache on Boggs, as always. Yeah. Probably just got done pounding a few beers right there in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> he was known to throw them back, that's for sure. Well, we saw the Jim Palmer earlier when he was, um, he had eaten pancakes, right? Right. Okay, so he ate pancakes before all those games. Pancakes what, and beer. What did uh, Wade Boggs eat before every game? 
Anybody see if anybody out there? Before every game, he was actually known for this. Beef jerky. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Chicken. I was gonna say chicken. Fried chicken? Not fried chicken. Just chicken. Just, yeah. Chicken. Interesting. Yep. That was his. That was his secret to his success. Ah, somebody said it. Jason Ferrari guessed fried chicken. Maybe he did eat fried chicken, but uh, just yeah. chicken is I the answer we're looking for. Yeah. Here's Dale Murphy. Yeah. He's related to the current Murphy that's playing right now, Daniel, I believe. Oh, is that right? I, I believe so. Lance Parrish was a fun angel. Look at that Angels, yeah. that old Angels logo right there. That's gorgeous. That's so USA. Yep. He was the catcher for uh, the Tigers in 84 when they won the title. That's great. How, how do you pronounce that? Dale Sveum. Swain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Hey, this guy did come into our store once. Oral Hershiser. Oh, wow. Fun story. If Bob was here right now, uh, there was a time when uh, Bob uh, was back in right when we first opened up in this location. And it was probably 1990 or 91. And Bob had just closed the doors at our shop here and Heard a knock on the window, and he comes up to the window, and there was Oral Hershiser standing outside the window. Wow. Of course, he lets him in the door and uh, proceeds to hang out with and have a conversation with Oral Hershiser, and Oral proceeded to, to buy boxes and memorabilia and all wow. sorts of stuff for his man cave. Uh, if I remember, he spent about $1,000 in that little 20-minute spree. And wow. that was it. Oral Hershiser has been to Hall of Fame. I was just hoping they say, like, we're closed. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear in the story. How about this picture? What Dickie a, Thon. That's, that's amazing. not a very good picture of Dickie Thon. <laughs> yep, that's the one he gets. <laughs> Easy123 says, Bellinger eats ice cream before or after every game. Yeah. I know Ricky Henderson says he has a scoop of vanilla ice cream before bed every day. Interesting. Love that. I'm going to put Dickie Thon up here just because yeah. I think it's a nice bedhead photo. This is just an interesting picture. Just He's a submarine pitcher, but this looks like he, he's, yeah. I don't know, like he ejected it out of his chest or something. <laughs> Kent Takulve. I always yeah. liked saying his name. What He actually closed out the 1979 World Series for the Pirates. Ah. Speaking of Pirates, here is father of Scott Vanslyke, Andy Vanslyke. Yes. Who played... Famously for the Pirates. He was good, too. Yep. He had his career extended for the, for the Pirates. Either. Look, he also batted uh, 293 and 87. Same as Mike Schmidt. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, he's a former Cardinal. Jonah Davis says Mike Sosha won two World Series with the Dodgers. Jonah, what years did Mike Sosha win those two World Series? I don't know if he was on the 81 team. Maybe he was. I don't remember. Yeah. And I can't I, I can't know. access Google right now to find it out because I'm using my phone, obviously, for this broadcast. I, th I think the, the two that they're talking about is the one for the Angels and the one for the... Because yeah. that, they count that. Actually, there's a, they actually count that, that he won two. I don't know if there's going to be a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie in here, man. I am getting a little bit busted here. We're through over halfway through the box now. By the way, folks, this was back in the day when they put a ton more cards in every box yeah. for, for the price. It's a lot of value, but a lot of uh, yeah. stuff you don't really need. <laughs> Hope y'all are having a happy 4th of July. If you're sitting around with family or whatever, maybe this is a fun way to kill some time. Just uh, doing our national pastime here, opening up some baseball cards. I'm here with uh, my friend Michael. Go check out his Instagram page when you got a chance. It's Beer Baseball. He talks about the art of craft beer and baseball, including baseball cards. Oh, speaking of, here's uh, another card for your collection. Oh, right. You think you have the 89 Upper Deck Aussie? I do not. I do not. 
There it is. Mike is a huge Cardinals fan, so this card is going to be gifted to him as well. This is 89 upper deck Ozzy oh. Smith. Two points to anyone out there in Instagram world who can tell me what was Ozzy Smith's nickname? Two fake points for anyone, the first person to tell me Ozzy Smith's fake nickname. Well, not real, no, real nickname. Real nickname <laughs> for two fake points. <laughs> Ozzy Smith. There you go. Easy one, two, three. Easy one, two, three chimed in first. It's the wizard. You are right. An extra two points for anyone who can tell me what was Ozzy's signature move as he entered the baseball diamond for the first time during the games. What was his signature move upon entering the diamond? Actually, he'd only pull it out at the beginning of the season. Are you sure? Positive. He would. They wouldn't let him do it every. Yeah, it was a special thing that he would do. Oh, at the beginning of the I season. thought it was. I remember him playoffs. doing it a lot more often. Well, they they you know they were in the playoffs, so he would do it before hmm. when they would do the playoffs too. Yes, what would you call it? Was it a backflip? Was it a front flip? Was it a somersault? It was not a somersault. It was, a it was more of a cartwheel into a backflip. Yes. Yes, it was a cartwheel into a backflip. There you go. This guy was amazing. Go look up clips of Ozzy Smith doing the flip. And that's pretty fun to watch. And uh, Bush Stadium, you go, on, the, on the wall, they have a big... Um, Picture of him doing that, probably. Yeah, it, he's actually upside down. He's actually doing the flip. Cool, so yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a classic photo. He's yeah. probably in the tuck position, yeah. right? Yeah. That's a, that's a good one right there. Ooh, Mark McGuire. Yeah, right there, yes. Yes. Two points if you can remember the name of the duo that was McGuire and Conseco. What were they called? There was a name for their their duo. Two fake points if you can remember the name of that duo, McGuire and Conseco. Anybody out there that uh, knows that far back? It was a great card. Yep. Jason Ferrari, no, but that is funny. He says the juicers. <laughs> that was a popular no. movie. In, uh, oh, that's Beetlejuice. <laughs> that was the movie in... Quijibo. Mike Stiles gets it right. The, Batch, the Bash Brothers. That is correct. They were the Bash Brothers. All sports cards, you're also correct. The Bash Brothers... I suppose they could have been known as the Juicers as well. Sad, but true. Yep. Back, to, back to, during this time, they were loving all the people that were into baseball and the long ball. So Here's uh, the famous, the, the man that the surgery is named after. Yep. The famous Tommy John. Actually, the, the guy who did the... The Tommy John surgery is yeah. actually in the Baseball Hall of Fame. I bet he is. Yep. I wonder how many of those surgeries have been performed oh, over the years. Right, there's the Bash Brothers. There are the Bash Brothers. Here, we found the other Conseco. There they are. Yep. Boom. So far, no Ken Griffey Jr., and we're getting lower to the bottom of the box. I am trying to remain optimistic. I think if it's going to come, it's going to be in one of these last four packs. Yeah, <laughs> that was happy. maybe the most obvious statement <laughs> ever made in the history of That's World right. um, Or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say bottom left. Here it is. This go. is where it's going to be. This is where the Ken Griffey Jr., is going to be. It's going to be in this pack. Let's see. Bottom left. Let's see. Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie. Come on, baby. John Franco. Ooh, there we go. And there's a hold on. Stepping back. Here we go. All right. This one's in better condition. Awesome. Found another Ricky Henderson, and this is sharp, man. This is in great shape. There's no sticker indentation. Uh, it's pretty decently centered. The corners and edges are sharp, man. You can 
cut your hand on that thing. Sweet. This one is going right into my PC right now. I'm not even going to pass go. I'm not going to collect $200. I'm going to grab my screwdriver right now. Oh, Arizona iced tea is good. I'm going to grab this hard plastic here. I'm going to slab that bad boy up. Oh, look at this little Hall of Famer. <laughs> the young Biggio. As a catcher. I love it. A little tyke. <laughs> here we go. So what I do with all my PC cards, I don't care how valuable or invaluable they are. They are all valuable to me. I put them right into the hard plastic with the screw down. Boom, like that. Get my screwdriver going. Last one, maybe the Ken Griffey in here? I still have my pack right in front of me that I haven't oh, actually, okay. I've opened, but I haven't gone through yet. So there's that, there's Ricky. Forever emblazoned in plastic for my personal collection, that's rad. Knuckles on that find. There you go. Boom. Cool. Um, you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab grab one of these. Uh, these are called graded card sleeves. So then I put this into here. Oops, backwards. Put that into here. And then you take off this little film. And this folds over. And then that just helps to protect the plastic from being scratched. Just like that. So now I can put it in my box or whatever, and the plastic stays nice. If I ever wanted to take it out and show it to somebody, I can do that. But boom, that's a good practice for anybody out there. If you want to imitate that, uh, it's a good practice to have. Put your cards right into some protection. That'll ensure they don't get dinged up and they can stay as, as minted as and as valuable as possible. You opened your last pack, no Griffey. Here's my last pack that I already cracked this was the bottom left. If there's no Griffey here, that means we got ousted on this box. Bruce Ruffin. Jose Gonzalez. Mike Witt. Pitcher for the Angels. Billy Hatcher. Uh, did I hear he passed away recently? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't... Uh, it might have been somebody else, but somebody who played for the Astros passed away like last week. Mm. Uh, Floyd Yeomans, or Yeomans, what do you say? Yeomans, probably. Yeomans. Greg Walker, a little bit of a scuff on the bottom, some kind of a... Someone tried to sign Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's just some silver. It might be from those stickers or something. It kind of scrapes off. Lame stickers. Let's see what stickers are in here. Pirates and uh, Oakland Athletics to go along with. Maybe you can throw that in the uh, trade for that autograph yeah. card. Give that to the uh, the A's collector. Yeah. Rafael Santana, George Brett. There's a Hall of Famer. Nice. I didn't see that one in there. Yeah, this is our first George Brett card. I'll put him aside. Yeah. Carmen Castillo. Juan Samuel, I remember him. Yeah. Devon White. Nice. Didn't he also play for the Dodgers? Or no? Maybe I'm thinking uh, of somebody else. I, I, think I don't I know, know if he did. Maybe not. Toronto, maybe. Dwight Evans. John Russell, I think. Two cards left in the pack. Dave Bergman and Bob Boone, which means no Ken Griffey Jr. rookie in this box. But we did find the Ricky Henderson. We actually found two of them. This one's in great shape. This one uh, had the sticker indentation on it, so I'm not going to keep that. But I'm definitely keeping this one because I don't have one for my PC yet. So I got the 89 upper deck. Ricky Henderson, that's great. Uh, we also got the, uh, oops, sorry. We got the Bash Brothers in McGuire and Conseco. Classic cards there. We also got, uh, Nolan Ryan. Uh, where's the football Nolan Ryan card? Was that in there? I thought I put it. Oh, there it is, yeah. 
a couple of nice Nolan Ryans, one with the triple exposure and then one with him throwing the football. What's the other interesting thing about these cards? It's obvious. Oh, they're two different teams. Two different yeah. teams. That is kind of weird. Which makes me wonder, did he like switch up mid-year that year? Uh, he might have. Yeah. He, he might have switched to the Rangers mid-year in 89. I don't remember. I'll have to look that up. But those are a couple cool cards. And then, folks, anyone who's still watching, the nine of us that are out there, now eight of us, I think we know who the winner of Best Mustache is. But if you want to vote, who's it going to be? Goose Gossage on the left, or is it going to be Tom Brookins on the right? Best Mustache from this box of 89 Upper Deck, and then we're going to sign off for the day. You know who I say. Bucks Update says Goose. Jonah Davis says Goose. Anybody out there? It's just Justin says Goose. Matt Barnes says Goose. Luke Soy says Goose. I think it's going to be the Goose. That was my vote. Uh, 13 Stars says Goose. Big T Campbell says Goose. Card Crazy says Goose. Jason Ferrari says Goose. Easy123 is not playing the game. Well, the winner of Best Mustache from this box is obviously the Goose. Goose Gossage. Look at that thing. It's too bad, too, because Tom Brookins actually was the predecessor to Magnum P.I. If you remember Magnum P.I., he used to wear a Detroit Tigers hat. That's true. It looks just like Kinda it. kind of looks like Magnum. And uh, Tom Selleck, Mr. Baseball. That's true. Wow, nice little... And people still went with Goose Gossage. Michael, this guy right here is full of uh, all sorts of information and oh, trivia wow. and little tidbits of <laughs> nuggets of information like that. I love it. So that's why I pick him, <laughs> only because of that. I try to give it a little bit more. So I'm keeping the uh, I'm keeping the Ricky Henderson, but if anyone's in town and wanted to stop by this week uh, to grab any of these other upper deck cards, uh, I'm giving all these away. And that's a two minute warning for us here at Hall of Fame. There's Michael from Beer Baseball. Check him out on Instagram. Thank you so much. And here's me. Uh, we are at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching us break some boxes. We did 89 Upper Deck. We did 2017 Tier 1. We did two boxes of Panini Stars and Stripes, which just came out this week. Um, about to take off here for the day. I'm going to go enjoy my own 4th of July. Hopefully you guys will continue to enjoy yours. Uh, have fun. Be safe. Uh, if you're with family, enjoy time with your family and friends. Uh, God bless everybody. Have a great and happy 4th of July. Uh, and we'll catch you tomorrow right here. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, Arcadia, California. Peace out.